I welcome all of you to the class. In today's class, we'll be discussing uh, the problem solving using the method of virtual work. We have already discussed the principle of virtual work and we have in fact solved a few problems using the concept of virtual work in the previous class. And in today's class, we'll be consolidating the concepts that we have already discussed. Right now, we are having an example of uh, what's known as a toggle vice. This is a toggle vice. The function of the toggle vice is to compress the elements or the trash. It's used for the compression of the elements. It is having member AC, it's having member CB. And here we have a slider. This is a slider. Here we are having a crank, or we should say a pin connection is here. And we do have a pin connection out here, okay? So, under the influence of the load P, what happens? The slider moves forward and it compresses the, let's suppose we are having a wooden block. We have a wooden block and the compression of the wooden block takes place. The question is we have to find how much is the force applied by the slider B on the wooden block? How much is the force? We have to make use of the principle of virtual work. Now, the principle of virtual work is uh based on few uh steps okay uh, we have to follow a few steps for uh yeah, for using the principle of virtual work and the first step is drawing the free body diagram the free body diagram will be at pin a there will be the reaction in the upward direction because of load p because the load p will try to will be exerting force uh at a in the downward direction and the ground will be giving a reaction to the toggle link ac in the upward direction same is the case as the slider moves forward, it will try to move A in the forward direction. So uh, this A will be exerting force on the, uh, on, the, on the pin in the forward direction. In response, the pin will be exerting the reaction in this direction. At B, we'll be having the ground reaction in the upward direction, as well as block uh, slider b will exert force on the wooden block in positive x-axis and will be having the reaction from the wooden block on the slider in negative x-axis so this completes our free body diagram so we'll write this is a of x this is a of y this is b of y and let's call this as q okay because we have to find this value of the Q. So this is the first step that we are performing. Okay. Now, uh, if you look at the unknowns, we're having four unknowns here. We are having AX as one of the unknown, AY, we are having BY, and we are having Q. So the total number of unknowns that we have are four. Now, the beauty of the principle of virtual work is that it uh, it does it, it works in such a way that finding these all constraints is a material okay so uh, now what we do so first step is the step of drawing the free body diagram that is already done we have done we are done with the plotion or drawing the free body diagram the step number two is initialization of the coordinates to the points where the forces are acting or to the points where you have your center of mass okay so it is initialization of the coordinate system so we have to perform the two second step that is initialization of the coordinate system okay to the that is we have to find the coordinates of the point where the forces are acting fine now first of all let me plainly draw a line parallel to x-axis and a line over here so this is the coordinate let's take all the coordinates from point a so this is the first coordinate we are defining let's call this as yc okay this is the coordinate where the force first is acting and the second coordinate will be defining from here to here let's call this as x to the point b right now, once we have defined our XC and YC, let's get a positive motion. In fact, this angle that we are defining over here is, that is this angle, this one will be theta for us, okay? 
Let's slightly move. So the system is in equilibrium for angle theta. Now let's slightly move the system down. Let's displace the system from its uh, equilibrium position and apply the principle of virtual work. So the displaced position, as we are moving the system down, okay, the slider move, will move forward. The C will move down as well as it will move forward. So we'll be having the new configuration uh, essentially like this. Essentially, it will be somewhat like this from here and to this point, okay? So this is our new point, what we call as the C prime. And we have moved it slightly by some angle. Let's call this as del theta. Okay, this is the virtual angle we are moving it, okay? And point C has moved down since the motion has taken place in a direction negative to Y axis. That is this, the point of application has moved along. So we'll write this is delta Y C, del Y C. These are the virtual displacements that have taken place, fine. Apart from virtual displacement delta Y C, we will be also having a virtual displacement of block because the block will move forward. Let's call that forward motion of the block. Let's represent that by del XB, okay? So this is how the entire picture looks like, okay? So be careful, the motion that we have given to the toggle, toggle wise is the motion that is consistent with the constraints at A and the constraints at B. That is the constraints at A are AX, AY that do not allow, allow the translation along X and Y axis. When we are giving the virtual displacement, we are maintaining that. Okay, so right now our constraints at the supports or at the connections are consistent with the virtual displacement. Okay, we are not violating it. Even if we violate it, it will not offer any problem. The principle of virtual work can be applied even if the uh, virtual displacement is not constant, consistent with the uh, constraints at the connections or at the joints. We'll be talking about it. Right now we have applied the virtual displacement that is consistent with the reactions offered at the, uh, at the constraints offered at the, at the connections or at the joints, fine. Uh, okay, so once we have done, uh, let's initialize the coordinate system. So we'll be writing, first of all, this YC. If you write this YC perfectly using the ge geometry, we can write that L, uh, cos theta is equal yc. Certainly yc is equal, uh, what we can say, yc is equal uh, l cos theta. Let me write it like this. It's equal l cos theta. So differentiating it, virtual so it'll be del yc is equal minus l sine theta, virtual displacement del theta. Okay, del theta is also a virtual angular displacement. We can easily see it, what it is, fine. Then we'll be having XB. If you look at the XB, uh, XB, that is equal two times L sine theta, okay? So L sine theta is the distance from here to here, two times L sine theta will be the total distance, okay? So virtual differentiation, del XB, is equal twice L cos theta virtual angle del theta, fine. Okay, so uh, once we are done with initialization of the coordinates, then the step number three that we'll be performing is writing the principle of virtual work. So the principle of virtual work says, first of all, P is uh, mowing as the, the work done by P will be P del YC. Okay, since you can also, you know, argue that C is also moving along X axis, but force is still perpendicular. So we will not take the work done by P along X axis into consideration that is zero, fine. And the work done by B along XB will be plus B del XB has to be equal zero. Now P is acting in negative Y direction. So it will be minus P del YC will write L sine theta, L sine theta and del of theta. Plus, since B and del B are again acting in negative Y direction, so we have to write it, we have to write it minus 
B and del X B will be writing twice L cos theta del theta. This has to be equal to zero. So we'll write minus P L is equal, sorry, uh, minus P L, okay, fine, is equal, or let me, let, let us uh, clean it a bit. Uh, this is uh, since P and L Y are in conformity here. We, we need not write minds. Okay. So this is P L. Even if we write minds, then minds and minds will automatically become plus. That will not affect us. So we will be writing it as uh, P L sine theta as del theta cannot be equal to zero is equal twice B L cos theta. So if you look at the value of B, B becomes equal one by two P tan theta. So the value of B comes out equal one by two P tan theta. So we have, we could obtain the value of B. B is equal, B is equal one by two P tan theta. Look at the value of B. B is quite non-linear as far as the value of theta is concerned. Okay, B is a function of theta and varies, uh, and varies uh, as a tan function, as a non-linear function of theta. That's quite uh, uh, very, you know, very important to follow. Okay, uh, what has this virtual work given? What has how has this uh, principle of virtual work solved our problem? If you look at the number of constraint, number of uh, unknowns, we have one, two three and four unknowns, okay? While we went on to uh, solve this work, uh, this, this problem, uh, we have given the virtual displacement to the system as is evident from the green, okay? This virtual displacements that we have given is consistent with the constraints that is offered to the real problem at the joints or at the connections, okay? In our real problem, we had a constraint at A in, in the form of A, Y, and A, X. We had a constraint at B in the form of B, Y, and Q. When we offered the virtual displacement, we maintained these constraints at the, at the, at the, at the ends, at the connections. So that automatically helped us in taking the work done by AX equal to zero, work done by AY equal to zero, work done by BY to be equal to zero, okay? That's one advantage. Sometimes we may encounter the problems where, where the virtual displacements may not be constrained, may not be consistent with the constraints offered at the joints, okay? That, let's take such problems in hand. Like we have, uh, uh, okay, first of all, if the virtual displacements considered, if the virtual displacement consists, considered is consistent with the constraints imposed by the sports and the connections, all reactions and internal forces are eliminated. And only the work of the loads and applied forces and frictional forces need to be considered. This is a very important statement that I was trying to explain that, that the, if the virtual displacement is consistent with the constraints imposed by the sports and the connections, it offers us a, a relaxation that reaction forces and internal forces get eliminated, okay? And only the external forces are to work done by the external forces to be taken into consideration, okay? But sometimes we may encounter the systems where we cannot put the virtual displacement consistent with the constraints. That's very important. And one of the problem is in most of the books as, as, as it's given, like, like we have a ball and this ball is resting on the ground. So we say the weight is acting downwards. The normal reaction is acting upwards. Okay, let's apply the principle of virtual work. We say that let's give it a virtual displacement in the downward direction by delta y c. This is the center of mass. Okay, we are giving this virtual displacement to the center of mass. So weight is still acting and normal reaction is still acting. So as we are giving this virtual displacement, we are not maintaining the consistency uh, in between uh, at the constraints imposed by the supports, okay? Because one of the constraints that is being imposed is that, that C cannot move down. 
but here we are not maintaining that consistency that's why we are also taking the work done by n into consideration work done by the normal force into consideration so that's why we write w del y c minus n del y c is equal to zero w becomes equal to n still it holds the principle of virtual work still holds in this case where we are not taking this consistency into consideration okay so that's very important so sometimes we take consistency into consideration if we don't take consistency into consideration then we have to take the work done by the normal reactions into consideration let's take one more problem of this type that is uh, this problem uh, uh, this type of problem we have a toggle bar is again in hand okay we do have a toggle bar and this toggle bar now happens to be uh, of the form that it's constrained at point a and constrained at point b this is a special type of a toggle vice for us okay this toggle vice is now constrained at both its ends okay at end a and end b and it's subject to the load p now we have to calculate let's suppose how much is the reaction offered by the support at b on the pin along x axis let's suppose we have to calculate b of x let's suppose this is one of our problems fine uh let's draw the free body diagram and try to solve this problem using the principle of virtual work now we have a reaction over here and as is given out, out, out there fine so uh, we'll be having um a of x a of y let me take this uh, let me directly take this free body diagram into consideration we are having a y we are having a x we are having b y we are having b x they are the constraints that are being offered at where that are being offered at the fixed ends a and b now as we give the after drawing this virtual displacement and you know taking coordinate y c taking coordinate x b into, into into consideration now we have to give the virtual displacement in this case as we give the virtual displacement in this case we are making point b to move from b to b prime okay but this is not consistent with our actual system so right now what is happening when we when we went on to solve this type of problem here what is happening that our virtual displacement loses cons consistency uh, virtual displacements virtual displacement is not consistent virtual displacement is not consistent with the constraints virtual displacements is not consistent with the constraints at the sports we cannot do it we cannot put it uh, at it at it uh, we cannot maintain the consistency in this type of a problem okay but what will happen it does not mean that the principle of virtual work cannot be applied the principle of virtual work can be applied but now it will be applied that we have to now take into consideration the work done by the reactions into consideration fine that is when we solve this and you move it you give the virtual displacement to it then the work done by uh, bx is to be taken into consideration that is bx del xb fine and the work done by p is p uh, p del yc is equal to zero what is p p is an external for what is this b of x this is one of the reactions we are now taking into consideration fine so when we went on to solve when we went on to apply the principle of virtual work while not maintaining the consistency the law still holds but now the work done by the reactions is to be taken into consideration this becomes the previous problem where we can directly now say b is equal to uh, p by 2 tan theta something like that it was as we previously did it fine now if we have to find the reaction ax and ay we will fix it here and will allow the motion again the consistency is lost to find the value of ax and ay so principle of virtual work can be applied while there is a consistency like this case virtual displacements not consistent with the constraints imposed by the sports and the reaction principle of virtual work can be applied in both the cases but applying it in the cases where we don't maintain the consistency in the virtual displacement and the constraints imposed by the sports and the reactions the work done by the reactions and the supports is to be taken into consideration we'll consolidate on it in the next class thank you very much